Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. God gives his people guardian angels. Let us see some of the examples of how these angels guarded his people. In Psalm 9111, he says, For he, God, will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. These are the guardian angels. And all, not some, in all your ways. And in Psalms 34, 7, it says it again in a slightly different way. The angel of the Lord encamps around them, encamps around them, totally surrounding them and, and protecting them and guarding them around them, around those who fear him and rescues them. This is what the guardian angels from God do for his people. Very special things. Now, let's take a look at an example of this and others to follow. In Genesis 16, 7 through 9, now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness. She had been having trouble with her mistress. And she, she was, she was going to get out of town. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit yourself to her authority. This is what you have to tell you. No, she's one of God's people. Her mistress is somebody that is, uh, uh, is that she worked for. And he, the angel, I don't know if I hear on it, the angel said, you will have large descendants in the future. Takes care of her and guards her, gives her things into the future. In Genesis 22, uh, 10 and on, Abraham stretched out his hand and took a knife to slay his son. Told, kill him because this is the thing he had to be tested on because of what he wanted. We know the whole story. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. Abraham said, Here I am. And the angel said to him, Do not stretch out your hand against the lad with the knife. And do nothing to him, for now I know that you fear God, since you have not withhold your son, your only son, from me. So the angel came and told him this, and gave him this information. And this was the big test, and God used a, a guardian angel to reach out to Abraham. In Psalm 34, 7, oops, sorry, there we go. In Genesis 24, 40, he said to me, The Lord, before whom I have walked, will send his angel to you to make your journey successful, and you will take a wife for my son and for my relatives, and from my father's house. So again, God sent, said to him and helped him on his journey. Genesis 32, 1 says, Now, as Jacob went on his way, the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's camp. Each time the angels come, they do something special for God's people. In Exodus 
uh, 2320. He says, Behold, I'm going to send an angel before you to guard you along your way to bring you to the place I have prepared. For a uh, place which I have prepared. This is what the angels do. Journeys of kind. Uh, here is uh, something else in the journey. In 1 Kings 19.5. And he lay down and slept under a juniper tree, and behold, there was an angel touching him, and he said, Arise, eat. It doesn't say it there, but we assume that the angel provided that food for him. And the journey was a 40-day trip, and the angel, the guardian angel from God, gave food each day of that trip. What God does with his guardian angels. In Isaiah 63, 9, he says, In all their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence, the one that was the sign to him in his presence, saved them. And in his love and in his mercy, God, uh, he redeemed them and lifted them and carried them all the days uh, of old. So God sent his, his angel, and they carried, represented it, uh, his love and mercy, and God redeemed him through the angels. In Daniel 3.28, <clears throat> it says, Nebuchadnezzar, try to say that three times fast, responded and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants. Very important. They are there to die who put his trust in them and violated the king's command and yielded their bodies so as not to serve or worship any god except their own god. And the angel delivered his servants. And Daniel 6.22, he says, the same area, My God has sent his angels and shut the lion's mouth. They have not harmed me inasmuch I found uh, I was found innocent before him. And toward you, O king, I have committed no crime. Angel, they, great protection here from death. And the angels also reappear, or not they disappear in the meantime, but we see them in the New Testament as well. And in Luke 15, uh, 10 says, Jesus says, In the same way I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And this is, they're, they're watching and they're seeing they're repenting and they, uh, uh, they, they express their joy. They, are, they want God's people to do well. They will do whatever is necessary to take care of them. And Zechariah 4.10 says, For who has despised the day of small things? But these seven will be glad when they see the plumb line uh, in the hand of Zerubbabel. These are the eyes of the Lord which range to and fro throughout the earth. So God has his eyes. He's, they're there for us. They were there for them. They're there for us. And this is just an overview. In Matthew 28, 5, it says, the angel uh, said to the woman, don't be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus is crucified. Not here. He's risen. Uh, and he says, tell the disciples, and he's going ahead into Galilee. And behold, I have told you. The angel ministered in Mark 1 uh, to Jesus after he uh, was tempted by the demon. And we see just from this brief view of several people that the God has his guardian angels here for us. Hebrews 1.14, are they not all ministering spirits sent out to render service for the sake of those who will inherit salvation? Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.